Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am super excited because we have another BoxyCharm to unbox together. This is the March. I was about to say March. It is April. This is the April base box. It retails for $27.99 and you are guaranteed a value of $125 or more. So I'm really excited to dig into this box with you guys. We're going to try on the products today and yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. <music> Before we get started, make sure you are subscribed to my channel and click the bell notifications. That way you never miss a future upload. So let's go ahead and dive in to the box. So right on top we have the card. And the theme of this month is Boxy Spring Revival. And on the back of the card we have all the products listed. It gives you a little description of each product as well as their retail values. So we're going to go through the card as we go through each product. And at the end of the video we're going to tally up all of the values of the products and see the total value of this box. So let's go ahead and dig in to the first product. So the first product up is a eyeshadow palette and this is by Beauty Bakery and this is their Sour You Doin' eyeshadow palette. Look at how cute this packaging is, oh my gosh. Um, this one retails for $38 and it says that it is a new launch which is super exciting to get a new launch in BoxyCharm. Um, and this is just like the perfect palette for spring, summer. I mean look at that packaging, oh my gosh, it's so adorable. Um, I love Beauty Bakery's like whole aesthetic. Everything in their brand is just so cute. Um, so let's open this up and see what it looks like. Okay, so the packaging on the inside is the same as the carton. And inside we have, oh my goodness, super pretty. I love like the little lemons on the packaging here. So cute. Um, so we have like what it looks like to be a mixture of mattes and shimmers. This gold shade right here is stunning. Oh my god. So super excited to create a look with this. I also love that it comes with a mirror. It just makes it super handy when doing your eyeshadow. So let's go ahead and pick some colors to use today. I don't know. I feel like I want to use as much as I can. But now I just got to decide what color I want to start with. I feel like I'm going to go in with the lightest color in the palette to start. And that one is in the shade Sour. So I'm just going to take a really fluffy brush and just kind of put that all over my lid. Um, I did already prime my eyes, so I do have eye primer on. And just gonna kind of buff that into the crease. I mean, there's not much showing up here. I know it's a really light shade, but like I'm not seeing any pigment. It's pretty much the same color as the eye primer that I have on right now, so may have to go in with a deeper color. But, I mean, I already started with this one, so I'll just quickly do the other eye just to kind of lay that down. Maybe just set my eye primer in place. And then we'll go in with a deeper color. Okay, so since that shade really had no pigment whatsoever, I mean, I know it's, like, very, very light in the pan. But I kind of expected it to have a little bit of pigment. But, honestly, I can't see it at all. So, that's kind of disappointing. So, I'm not really sure what shade I want to go in with next. Maybe I'm going to try this one here. That one is in shade Sweet. And we'll just place that on top of the other shade. I'll be honest, I feel like even this shade doesn't have a lot of pigment. Um, it kind of even looks a little bit patchy. So I'm not super impressed as of right now, but I'm hoping that the shimmers are a little bit better than the mattes because so far I'm not really that impressed. Okay, next I'm going to go in with this shade right here, and this is called Chalk Tails. And I'm going to try and deepen up the crease with this shade. Hopefully it works better than the other one. I feel like this one is super light. So let's see how this one performs. Okay, so that shade worked a little bit better. There's definitely more pigment there, but I do see it being a little bit patchy right here. It's not really sticking to where I put it. It's kind of just, you know, getting really patchy here. So I don't know. This is my first Beauty Bakery eyeshadow palette that I've tried, and honestly, I'm not that 
impressed with it. Like, I don't know. I just feel like it's lacking pigment and it's just kind of being a little bit patchy as well. So, I mean, if it seems to blend nicely together, but it's just, you know, right here, it's just kind of coming off where I put it. But other than that, I mean, I wouldn't say it's horrible. But for $38, I feel like I expect better quality. Let me know your thoughts on Beauty Bakery's eyeshadow formula if you've tried it. Am I doing something wrong or is it just the palette? I don't know. But yeah, I mean, I feel like it looks pretty good though considering. But hopefully the shimmers are going to be a lot better. So next I think I want to go in with this gold shade. I mean, how can I not? It is so pretty. Um, so I feel like I'm gonna put that on my lid. I feel like maybe I'm just gonna do it in the center because that's just the easiest um, without having to like go in and cut my crease or anything like that. So the shade is called Icy and it is a beautiful gold shade. I'm gonna just swatch it so you can see. Oh my god, okay. <gasps> that I was not expecting at all. That looks insane. Oh my god, okay, I really hope that it looks that good on my eye, but we will see. So I'm just going to pack that on into the center of my lid. It actually looks really pretty so far. I mean, it's not as pigmented as my finger swatch, but I feel like it never goes on as good with a brush as it does with your finger. So I'm just going to try with the brush first and then see maybe I just need to go in a little bit with my finger to kind of amp it up. So yeah, I feel like that's what I'm going to do. Okay, wow, look at the difference that made. Oh my gosh. Okay, they are not playing around with these foil shades. Oh my god. That definitely makes up for the mattes. Oh my god, I don't think I have anything in my collection right now that is that foiled. So pretty. Okay, so I finished up this eye. I am obsessed with this gold shade. It is no joke. Like, look at that. It is so beautiful. I am so impressed. I feel like that shade makes the whole palette. Like, even if a couple of these mattes aren't the best, I feel like this shade right here is just everything. So, I'm really happy with that. I feel like also when I went in on this eye with the second shade, it did blend out a lot better and it didn't look patchy. So, I'm not really sure why this eye had that issue. Um, so I am liking the mattes a little bit more now that I tried it again on this side. So yeah, I think I'm going to go in with another shade now on my lower lash line. And I'm going to take this one right here. This one is called Pink Lemonade. So it looks red in the pan, but I'm curious to see how it's going to look on the eye because it is called Pink Lemonade. So is it going to be pink or I don't know, but we're going to see. So just going to apply that to the lower lash line. And again, I'm not seeing... I mean, I guess it kind of shows up pretty good on camera, but in the mirror here, I don't know. I feel like it's kind of sheer. Like to me, that looks pretty sheer for a red shade. I feel like reds are usually really pigmented and bold, whereas this one is pretty, pretty sheer. But I mean, it still looks nice. It's definitely just not as pigmented as I would like. Yeah, so that's how it looks. It almost looks like you don't even need to blend it out because it is so sheer. Not really sure how I feel about that one, but let's do the other eye. Okay, so that's how it looks. I mean, it looks pretty good. Just still a little bit disappointed in the pigment though. I feel like it's picking up super bright on camera, but in my mirror, it's not like anywhere near that. But yeah, I mean, it's okay. So last but not least, I'm going to go in with this shade here called Sangria. And we're going to put that on the inner corner and highlight my brow bone with that as well and see how that one looks because it looks really pretty in the pan. It almost has like an iridescent shift to it. So I want to see what it looks like. Okay, going in the inner corner. Ooh, yeah, it does have an iridescent shift. It's like pink, white, kind of purpley too. Super pretty. Okay, can you guys see that? Is it picking up the shift in color? It's like a pink, purple, iridescent shift. It is so pretty. I'm gonna go in a little bit on the brow bone as well. I feel like this would be a really pretty highlight shade, like even for your cheeks. I definitely think the shimmers in the palette 
definitely outweigh the mattes. I feel like the mattes are nothing to really get excited about. But I really love this shade and the shade is really beautiful as well. So those shades for me are wins. Um, I'm going to swatch this other shimmer too. This one's called Refresher. I just want to see what that one looks like. This is like, oh my gosh, this is like a really pretty copper. Can you see that? I'm going to swatch it on the back of my hand. Oh my goodness. <gasps> that is stunning. Ooh. Okay, so the shimmers are amazing. Hands down, amazing. I'm going to just swatch that sangria shade, the one I put on my inner corner. So maybe you guys can see it a bit better. There you go. See, it's got a really pretty shift to it. I love it. So I'm super excited to play around more with this palette. Um, initially, I wasn't super excited for it, but these shimmers definitely changed my mind. I feel like they are amazing. So let's go ahead and move on to the next product up. The next product up is a mascara, and this is by Item Beauty, and this is the Lash Snack Lengthening Mascara. I am so excited for this. I have been loving Item Beauty lately. I have her lip oil and her brow pencil, which I have been using so much. They are both so good. So I'm super excited to try another one of her products. So this says that it retails for $15. Honestly, that's a pretty good price. And it is supposed to be flake free and smudge proof. And it's supposed to help um, nourish your lashes with hydrating conditioners like castor seed oil, glycerin, and coconut oil. And it also has a micro wand, it says. So I'm excited to see what the wand looks like. So I'm assuming it's small if it says micro wand. And I'm all about those small mascara wands because I feel like it's just so much easier to apply, especially on your bottom lashes. So let me just open this. And this is the packaging. It's super pretty. And let's see the wand. Oh my goodness. Okay, this wand is extremely tiny. Whoa. You guys see that? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I can't wait to try this. I feel like it's going to be so good for the bottom lashes. Okay, I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see my lashes a bit better. I think that's good. So let's go ahead and apply this now. I did just curl my lashes. So let's see what this does. Okay, so that is one coat on the top lashes. Um, I honestly, I love the wand. I will say that. Like, it is amazing. I'm curious to see how it's going to look on the bottom lashes. So let's go ahead and apply it to the bottom. Okay, I really like how it makes my bottom lashes look. Like, super pretty, right? I love that. I'm going to go in with another coat on the top because I do want to see what an extra coat does. Typically, I always go in with two coats of mascara, sometimes three. So I feel like we'll get a better idea of what it looks like with two coats. Yeah, I like that a lot more with two coats. It definitely builds up nicely. Like, look at that. I feel like my lashes look really, really long right now, which is, you know, what it's supposed to do. It's a lengthening mascara. So that is what we wanted it to do. And it looks really good, actually. I'm, I'm loving this, actually, a lot. I just feel like my lashes look so separated, and they honestly look really long with two coats. So kind of obsessed not gonna lie okay so that is how they look what do you guys think i think my lashes look so good honestly probably one of my favorite first impression mascaras like very very nice so i'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and then i will be right back okay we're back i finished up the rest of my makeup so let's go ahead and dive into the next product in the box and next up we have this Real Rose Petal Sleeping Mask by Pure Heels. Never heard of this brand before. This is like a new brand to me. You know, I'm not always super excited to get skincare just because I have so much skincare already, but I definitely like trying out new brands. There's actually a little scoop that came in the box. I did not see that. So it comes with a scoop, which is really nice. Um, this is what the packaging looks like. It's super pretty. I love the pink aesthetic. Um, and it looks like a jelly, kind of. It looks really interesting. So I'm going to open this up and see what it looks like. 
Okay, so that's what it looks like. Oh, it actually smells pretty good. It doesn't really smell too strongly of roses. It has kind of like a fresh scent to it as well. I'm going to put some of this on the back of my hand real quick, just from the lid, and see how it feels on the skin. So I'm just going to rub that in to the back of my hand. I'll show you guys what I'm doing here. So that's what it looks like. It's very like watery feeling, but I feel like it's soaking in pretty fast. So I'm going to see how it feels when it's soaked in, see if it feels like really soft or, I mean, it's a sleeping mask, so it should make your skin feel really hydrated and soft. It's a little bit tacky, but not really. Okay, I mean, skin feels pretty hydrated, but it doesn't really feel soft. It kind of feels, you know, a little bit like sticky, a little bit tacky, um, but nothing like too crazy. And this retails for $55, so kind of pricey, um, and it says it contains real rose petals and rose water to moisturize and revitalize your dry and stressed skin while sleeping. So, I don't know, I feel like I would probably give this a try and see, you know, if I like it on my skin, if it makes a difference, you know, using it overnight. But yeah, I mean, I like the packaging a lot. I think it's really cute. So yeah, it's super interesting. Let's move on to the next product up. And we have a eyeliner and this is by Persona. So I've gotten quite a few Persona products in BoxyCharms already. Um, I've gotten two lip liners, like two of the exact same ones. I've gotten an eyeshadow palette as well and a lip gloss, I think. So and now we are seeing an eyeliner and this is just in the shade black. It says it's 24 hour waterproof so that's really good you definitely want you know something that's going to be long lasting um, and this retails for $14 and it says it's creamy it's 24 hour waterproof and it glides on smooth for all day to all night wear so I have tried the lip liners and they are super super creamy like probably one of the most creamy lip liners I've ever tried so I can only assume that this is going to be really creamy as well so let's go ahead and open it up and see what it looks like okay so this is the little pencil here and i'm probably just gonna do a little swatch on the back of my hand because i'm not really feeling black eyeliner today so that's it there it is really really black it's really pigmented um and it goes on extremely creamy so i really really like that um, i don't typically wear a lot of black eyeliners like this like i use liquid liner for like wings and stuff but i don't typically wear black liner in like my waterline and stuff so I don't really know how much use I'm gonna get of this but you know if I ever need one I know it's a really good one because it's extremely creamy and it, like it says it's waterproof so you know it's gonna last all day and all night um, okay so that is the fourth product and the fifth product in the box is by Christoph Robin and this is the instant volume mist with rose water so if you've seen my previous boxy charm videos I feel like it was in February I'm pretty sure it was like my February premium box that I already received this so sometimes I do get duplicates because the base box is PR it is sent to me and the premium box I do pay for myself so there is an overlap there sometimes of them sending me products I've already gotten in my premium box but I have already you know received this I've used it um I'm not really sure how I feel about it I don't know if it's my favorite product ever it does smell very, very, very strongly like rose. I'm not a big fan of rose scents. So um, this has kind of been sitting on my shelf and I haven't really used it much because of that. So this one I am probably just going to gift to somebody else because I definitely don't need another one. And this is supposed to help thin, fine, or flat hair feel thicker and full of body while delivering an easy to style hold. Um, it has a delicate rose blend infused formula with baobab leaf extracts and oligo elements oh my gosh two words I have no idea it says that it helps enhance your hair's texture and provides a lift at the roots so I have used this a few times and I will say that I definitely do notice that it does help give some volume to my roots but the scent is so strong even when it's like dried in your hair I mean you use this on damp hair do not use it on dry hair it will make your hair super greasy I made that mistake so Make sure you use it on damp hair. But that is everything, you guys. That is all of the products in this month's box. So let's go ahead and tally up all the values and see what the total value of this box is. 
Okay, so we have $38 for the eyeshadow palette, $55 for the sleeping mask, $39 for the hair mist, $15 for the mascara, and $14 for the eyeliner, and that gives us a total of $161. So this box retails for $27.99 and I got $161 value so I feel like that is a really good deal. But my final thoughts on this box, if I'm being honest, it is probably one of the more disappointing boxes that I've received recently. Um, only because like there's really only one product in here that stood out to me that I know I'm going to use a lot of, which is the mascara. The eyeshadow palette was nice, but I feel like the mattes just didn't do it for me, so I don't see myself using it a whole lot for the matte shades, maybe just for those two shimmers that I really liked. And, you know, the eyeliner, I don't really use black eyeliner um, in pencil form, so I'm not going to really use that at all. The hair mist I already got, and the sleeping mask, I mean, I feel like I will try it out, but... I'm not over the moon about getting skincare because I have so much of it already, so it's not a product that I'm super excited for, but I will use. I'm really curious to see the other products floating around in variations. Um, I know there's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation, um, which I would, you know, would have preferred, but because this box was sent to me, um, obviously they couldn't get my shade, but I definitely feel like I'm going to pick up that foundation during the add-ons next week, but I haven't really heard any other spoilers about what's in the base box or premium box like aside from the choice items and the palette those were like the only products that i you know knew so i'm super excited to see other people's um, unboxings and see what they received um let me know if you were excited for any of the products that i received if you're hoping to get any of them or if there's any that i received that you are hoping you do not get i am really curious to know so leave a comment down below but yeah that is everything you guys i hope you enjoyed this video and thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you on my next video bye